Rabbi Moshe, the electric Israeli is here and thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and help me change the world. One electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my patrons and those who order their Tesla using my referral code. And speaking of referral codes and, and free supercharging, because that's what you get when you use somebody's referral code. Tesla just announced that uh, from now, basically, uh, uh, December 12th, all the way to December 31st, any Tesla Model 3 and Model Y, with the exclusion of the Tesla Model 3 standard range plus, so it's the, the dual motor and the, and the Tesla Model Y, uh, they will all get one year of free supercharging. This is cars that were ordered, but only if you get it delivered uh, between now until the end of 2020, basically, uh, you will get uh, free supercharging on the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y for uh, a year. Uh, that does not ex uh, pro uh, prohibit you from using somebody's referral code uh, if you want uh, to get additional uh, uh, supercharging, uh, uh, free supercharging miles, a thousand free supercharging miles, which basically would last you for three years. So it's it's good either way to, to do both. So basically, so if you order the Tesla Model 3, uh, not the standard plus, Tesla Model 3 dual motor and the Tesla Model Y, if you have ordered that, if you want to get that in incentive maybe you should call sometimes tesla's deliveries are weird uh, uh, sometimes uh, you know it depends by region it depends by uh, vin number so call and if you want to get that uh, uh, amazing incentive of free supercharging for a year that's awesome especially if you are a person who takes long uh, trips like i do this is great tesla used to give it free supercharging for life on model s and x's way back in the day so uh, this is a great incentive. This is number. Uh, this is uh, incentive number one. Uh, speaking of which, uh, this month is going to be great. The rest of the uh, of this month, the uh, next two and a half weeks, are going to be insane for Tesla. It's the end of the year, so uh, Elon Musk is urging his uh, uh, employees to uh, ramp up deliveries, production, and deliveries. Uh, because there's high demand. Uh, so sometimes it doesn't make sense if it's high demand, why you have to give so many incentives? Because he wants people who order their Tesla to uh, be more aggressive on, 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 on making sure that they're getting it now. Tesla wants to hit that 500,000 uh, uh, cars delivered this year. There they were 181,000 cars short which will mean it's 40,000 more than the delivered last quarter. That's incredible. So, uh, but you know, the cars are not coming only from one place. Now they're coming from two places, California and China. So uh, Elon Musk is urging his uh, employees to continue to produce and deliver uh, a, a Tesla cars be, by, the end, by the end of this uh, month so they can hit that milestone. And I hope that they will. And I think that they will. Next, I mean, this is head speed. <laughs> Head spinning with Tesla announced extended model S and X production shutdown. Okay, uh, is that a hint for a refresh uh, in design? Who knows? I mean, the only re the only design uh, refresh that Tesla did for the model S for sure was the front fascia. It used to look one way, and then in 2016 it looked different way. So the look didn't change. The inside didn't change. You know, there were premium seating and with the seating here and there, but the way the car looks from the outside dimension, the inside, the screens, that didn't change. But what did change, change for example, is everything else. Uh, the full self-drive was not part of Tesla Model S and X way before. Uh, autopilot was not part of it. The range, the batteries, I mean, so many things have changed in the technology, in the inside. The Tesla Model uh, uh, Model S, the biggest range when it came out in 2012 was 285. By next year, it's going to be 520. Okay, now it's 402. So, I mean, th this this change. Now, will Tesla, uh, uh, here's what I would say. Will, will Tesla uh, change the interior screen and match it to what Tesla Model a, a, a 3 and Y have? That's, pas that's possible, okay? Eliminate uh, all the other, the big 17 inch screen and all that stuff. Will it, will it do that? That, that, that's very interesting. Well, I, I don't, I don't have a feeling about it. I, I think Tesla Model S interior looks beautiful. 
it, will it be a refresh from the outside? Whoa, I don't know about that, but we will see. So this will be a very long shutdown. Not uh, manufacturers shutting down production line is not news. They do it for maintenance. They do it for all kinds of, uh, of, of things. But this will be a prolonged shutdown and it will last until January 11th, between the December 24th or the day before Christmas and, and uh, uh, to, to uh, January 11th. That's like an 18 day uh, shutdown. Now, again, it, it could mean nothing. It could mean, you know, maintenance, upgrades, stuff like that. This happened all the time. But could it be for a refresh? That's interesting. Is it outside design? Is it going to look different like like cars do? I mean, uh, manufacturers do it like every year or every other year. They, their car look different. So we'll see about that. And of course, uh, last but not least, but I think that that's going to be mega, mega development. We'll see what happens. This week is the last week for a Tesla being traded in... Uh, 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 is, this is that we will try to be traded a Nasdaq that is going to move into the S&P 500. So Friday, December 18th is when it's the last time it's it's traded uh, where it is now. And it's going to move to the S&P 500 in one swoop on that Monday. What to expect? Volatility, that's for sure. Will it go way up because of a lot of uh, options and requirements that companies have? and investors ha want to invest now will it go way up this week and uh, go uh, go way down the week after or the month after nobody really knows nobody really knows it's going to be extraordinarily volatile that that i can tell you that or or maybe nothing would happen nobody knows i i predict it's going to be a lot of volatility like now as a tesla stock uh, holder and I do not give you any advice to buy, hold, or sell, I am going to do nothing. I'm going to sit in my hands and watch, like I've been doing for many, many months uh, since I uh, bought Tesla stock. When it way, went way down at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, I did nothing. And when it go, now it's really sick, over $600, after split, I did nothing as well. So uh, I'm just going to... Now, I can tell you one thing. This is me doing. I'm not suggesting you do if it goes way down for after it gets included in the um, uh, S&P 500, uh, 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 there's a good opportunity to buy more. That's probably what I will do. I will definitely buy more. Uh, that's 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 that would be my reaction. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know. What to, it's a lot of big news uh, coming up. Really, really interesting. Uh, I'm anxious to see if Tesla is going to meet their um, deliveries goal. What do you think? Will they? I think that they will. Uh, Tesla does this thing all the time. But there's one more thing. I mentioned it in um, in a video before. If you are a Tesla Model 3 owner, Tesla Model 3 owner, and you have the enhanced autopilot, I do. Uh, and last week, the Tesla came up with a uh, an upgrade option to for full sale drive for uh, $5,000. It used to be $7,000. Uh, for a few weeks since the price went up to buy to upgrade to a, 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 a full set drive for ten thousand dollars so if you already have a, a enhanced autopilot you can you can uh upgrade to full set draft for five thousand dollars now does that have an expiration date i don't know they didn't say you know tesla all of a sudden you open your app and you see something happen tesla does it all the time they don't make big uh, big announcements but when it comes to the end of the um, uh, uh, quarter, Tesla does these things all the time. Each quarter, they come up with incentives, with uh, goals. You know, uh, you know, they tell their employees to ramp up production. This happened all the time. I think to me, the biggest news is the S&P uh, inclusion and what's going to happen to Tesla stock in the next week or and or two. That's going to be very, very interesting. Those incentives, the free supercharging and all that, that comes and goes. That happens all the time. Uh, a, a, price dr a price drop, that has a long-term effect. Uh, a Tesla Model S a design change, that has longer, but we don't know, but we don't know that yet. Uh, we know that these incentives are very short-lived 
and that's it. And then they go and then they come back again at the end of each quarter. Something like that comes back again uh, for each quarter. But the uh, stock volatility, that is very, very interesting. We'll see how that goes. Let me know your thoughts below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow.